Um, the Making a Difference Award is given to those individuals who aspire to change the world from one of ignorance and exclusion to a world of acceptance and inclusion. The award itself is modeled after a sculpture by an artist named Christopher Navarro from Casper, Wyoming. The, the sculpture is dedicated to the memory of Matt as well as the victims of Columbine and 9-11. The sculpture is located on the grounds of the United Methodist Church in Casper, Wyoming. It depicts doves carrying the prayers of those who ring the bell, prayers of peace and love to heaven. This is a scaled down model of the original sculpture. The original sculpture is about 20 feet tall. Tonight, this award is being presented to Alan Cumming. Not this award, but this award. <laughs> I didn't really think he'd want to carry that home, but maybe he'd like to carry that one home. I don't know Alan well enough personally to describe him fully to you tonight, so we have asked a few important people in his life to help us introduce him to you. From Alan's mom, Mary Cumming. Alan, tonight you are to be given the Making a Difference Award for a very special reason. You have always had a caring, generous, and understanding nature. Even in childhood, you were always keen to do things to help others whenever you could. Alan is simply a treasure, and no words can fully express my love for him. Congratulations, dear Alan, on this award, as you have, and still do, make a difference to all of our lives. Have a lovely night with Grant by your side and all your dear friends. Your biggest fan, your loving mom, kiss kiss. <laughs> From Alan's brother, Tom. Alan's unique quality that makes the difference is his ability to make other people feel that they are the special ones. Alan is a unique type of person who always has time for others, no matter how hectic his life is. From Brooks Ogden. How lovely Alan is how lovely Alan is honored for making a difference. He is certainly the person who's made the most difference in my life. He never recognizes a defeat is possible, but sees something that will be challenging to conquer. I bless the day he entered my life. Pretty amazing to have been saved by a wonderful singing, dancing Scotsman who loves life, his life, and ours. Wow. And now he's an American, too. From Andrew St. Clair. I'm thrilled Alan is receiving the Making a Difference Award, as that is precisely what he does on so many levels. It sounds like a commercial for a kitchen gadget, but everything is different when you have an Alan in your life. <laughs> Alan is one of the busiest people I know, yet the most generous in giving his time. I love you, Alan. Congratulations on this most fitting of awards. From Rob McGarry. I am forever grateful to have a friend in my life who has such courage, strength, intellect, character, and charisma to help not, to not, to not only help guide me and our family of friends through tough times, but who also has a voice, the confidence, a platform, and knowledge to speak for those who need him even more than we do. He is the voice of Matthew and so many others. Without a doubt, he has made a difference in so many lives, and for that reason, this award is so very, very deserved. From Eddie Roche. When I was just a wee puppy in our gay world, just a year after we lost Matthew, I met Alan. There are moments in your life where you meet somebody and suddenly your life changes. That's what happened to me when I met Alan. How does he make a difference? He speaks his mind, he makes you rethink the way you think, he gets involved politically, he spends weekends when he could be home relaxing and devotes that time supporting charities worldwide that need his presence. He makes a difference every day just by being kind. From Grant Schaefer, Alan's husband. Alan not only makes a difference, he does it with such gusto. He dives headlong into life with such fervor, and he inspires me every single day. Alan is the most beautiful, kind, hilarious, clever, talented, wait, there's more, <clears throat> courageous, and dare I say, sexy person I have ever known. I am eternally grateful to, to know his true, unconditional love and call him my husband. His love for his family and friends is boundless, and his passion to make this world a better place is galvanizing. Whether Alan's organizing a daily roster of friends to visit a loved one who's housebound, or even chasing down and, and helping to nab a purse snatcher on the streets of New York City, true story, <laughs> Alan is compelled to help others. Tonight, we honor Alan most especially for being a passionate warrior in the LGBTQ community. 
He was always there for us, marching at protests, mentoring gay students, and planning, hosting, and performing at countless fundraisers. He lends his name, time, support to our cause, and he is unabashedly out and proud at work and in the press. True to form, he does it all loudly and unwaveringly. He is perplexed by people when, who say they are not political. He'll ask, how can you live on this planet and not be? <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> Let me just say that I am proud of you, Guy. I don't know what that is, but I am proud of you, Guy, <laughs> for the difference you make every day. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome this most wonderfully kind and caring individual, Alan Cumming. <laughs> Um, gosh, that was so intense. Thank you so much. You know, I was going to say, even before that, how overwhelming I, 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 this evening has been for me, just in terms of he hearing about uh, f family. This has all been about family this evening. It's a mother's love for her son, a father's love for his son. And um, to hear my family um, uh, talking to me in this way is really, really overwhelming. And um, I, you know, I've, I go to a lot of these events for uh, LGBTQ causes and uh, other things, and it's rare that you are touched in the way that I feel I've been touched. Now, even before that um, onslaught of love from my loved ones, um, but I, uh, I, 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 I like making a difference. I've always wanted to make a difference. I think it's my mum who said that thing at the beginning. You know, I, I think I learned that from her. It's a, I think it's a Scottish trait that you, you have a duty to make a difference and it feels good to make a difference. And I feel very lucky in my life and as an artist and as a human being that I have a platform to uh, make a difference and to speak out and to say things that I believe in and I, I feel passionately about. And I think not just, they're not just opinions, they're kind of entrenched um, rights that I feel everyone should uh, believe in. And, um, thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, um, oh, what was the other fascinating thing I was going to tell you? I'm, over, I'm really, <laughs> I'm kind of really overwhelmed by all that. Um, oh, I know, I, I was going to make a joke earlier, I'll say it now. Um, <laughs> I was going to see how lovely it is to see all these lovely uh, beauty queens and lovely drag queens, and it's an interesting kind of um, sign of the times that the, of the blurring of you know genders and black and white. That some of the drag queens look like beauty queens, and some of the beauty queens look like drag queens. <laughs> I think that's a good thing. Uh, but 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 mo mo most of all. The biggest thing I've felt about coming here tonight, and it's been so amplified by everything I've uh, seen and heard, is that a terrible act of darkness and evil has been turned into a beautiful thing of light and uh, of, of possibility and of, and of goodness. And I think that's such an, that message that Judy and everyone at the Matthew Shepherd Foundation has, has taken out into the world is truly inspiring to me. Really, really, it is, and I think that's uh, you know that has made the biggest difference in, 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 in the message alone. Aside from all the other things, the money that the grants are given out and the, the laws that have come to pass because of the work of this foundation, and I'm really, really, really overwhelmed to to receive this award. I think the you know this is all about kindness, and um, and family, and uh, you know I think that kindness is a a thing that nowadays, especially now in this election year, we are kind of told kindness is a privilege that we don't all deserve. And I think that's wrong uh, to the very core of my being. <laughs> and and kindness, is, kindness is looking to other people who are less fortunate than ourselves or just people who need a, need a little, need a kiss or need a hug or Need a cup of tea, and I'm, <laughs> and and I just I'm so grateful to receive an award for something that I feel um, is part of who I am, and I'm so grateful to be in a room with people that share that uh, vision. And uh, I just, I really am overwhelmed. I can't thank you enough for this honor. Thank you. Thank you.